Hello everyone, this is Pippa Shirley, Head of Collections and Gardens at Wadston Manor and we're bringing you another of our little uh, lockdown diaries about what's going on behind the scenes in the collection at Wadston and today we're in a really special room which is part of the visitor route but it's our porcelain cabinet. So this is where we display some of our extraordinary serve porcelain dinner services um, and the one that I'm just focusing in on now um, is a very beautiful one decorated with paintings of birds um, which was made in 1767, 66 to 67 sorry, um, and made for a Russian nobleman called Count Razumovsky um, in Paris in the Sèvres manufactory and there are lots of different um, porcelain services here. This particular one was made for dessert so what I'm focusing in on here are the ice cream coolers which are rather wonderful. Um, but the reason for being in here today is that um, as part of our regular um, cleaning routines, we get the pieces out on a regular basis and we just look them over and then give them, um, give them a clean to make sure that everything is as it should be and that they are in their best um, state for, um, uh, for presentation. And so here I'm about to introduce you to Carol. Hello, Carol. Uh, who's one of our conservation assistants and um, Carol's got a lovely job because here she is um, giving the tender loving care that, that, that it needs to the Rasmoski service. So Carol just just tell me what are you what are you doing? Well first of all when we get the pieces out we will check very carefully to see if there's any damage to anything and then we would give a light chamois over it just to give it a little clean. And also over the back. And I would start on the back to actually clean it with um, deionized water and a tiny amount of Synthronic. Synthronic is kind of like a very, very mild detergent, isn't it? Yeah, this is. So there's it. your, that's that's your is, water, um, isn't it? Ready yeah. in, the, in the bowl. And yeah. we'd lightly go over it all, which you can do obviously on, on the back but not, not on the front. Yeah. And then we would dry this off. have a starting point on this which I always do from the side mm -hmm. so the same again I would just slightly go around um, avoiding the gilding yes yeah, so you're just on the porcelain itself yeah, there, aren't um, you? yeah usually like a small section and then would dry it virtually straight away yes so you're just getting any dust or yeah. any grease that might have might have attached itself. Yeah. Mm. And obviously because in the cabinet they're not they're not as dirty as, as some pieces are that we normally yes. would clean. No. It helps when they're as you say when they're inside rather than on open display, doesn't it? Yeah. And then because we've got a lot more gilding around here I would just do these these little pieces here. So the reserves, yes. Then I would go around with a cotton bud, lightly oh, to okay. do um, in between all the ah. all the the blue. Yes, gosh, it's painstaking work, isn't it? Yeah. Obviously, I've speeded up a little bit for the video. <laughs> yes, yes, and also you've been doing it many times, haven't you? So, so you know, yeah. you know what you're doing. And if we got anything that was more intricate out of the cabinet, then you can make your own um, smaller cotton ah. so you just make something much tinier to get into to the little crevices and, little and so pieces, on. Yeah. And um, you might have noticed that, that Carol is not wearing any rings or anything and that's quite important so if I just go over here slowly you'll see she's got a little pile there of her rings and her watch um, and that's so that uh, you know we make sure that, that we don't scratch the surface um, of the porcelain. So Carol, do you want to just sort of bring the plate over here and then yeah. we can show people 
what it what it looks like. So there we are. It's the most beautiful thing. So this service um, was painted by um, some of the best um, porcelain painters in the Serve uh, manufactory, as we said, for Count Razumovsky, who was a Russian nobleman living in Paris. And it was the first time that um, that that uh, ornithologically correct birds had been depicted on a porcelain service like this. And they're absolutely beautiful. So this is a white faced mannequin here. Um, very, very um, beautifully painted in lots and lots of detail. And then around it, these beautiful reserves that we were talking about later with flower painting and this extraordinary gilding. And I don't know if you can see that even the gilding is incised, so it just springs to life. And then the colour is this very famous Bleu Celeste, heavenly blue, which um, the Serve Manufactory was famous for producing, and it was an imitation of Chinese porcelain wares. Um, so that's, that's a kind of close-up of the plate. Carol, can you just turn it over and we'll see what's on the back, because it's quite fun. Thank you. And so there on the back, very helpfully, we've got the name of the bird, Manacan de Cayenne. And the white-faced mannequin came from French Guyana, um, so that's what that means. And then, look, there are the interlaced L's, which is the mark of the Serve porcelain manufactory. And the O in the middle is the date letter. Um, and then below, I don't know if you just make out, there is, a, there is a capital N in a cursive script. And that is the mark of Aloncle, who was the flower painter and the, the bird painter, one of the, one of the best and most prestigious of the painters who worked for the manufactory. So his mark is there too, so everything we need to know about the service. So thank you, Carol, that was wonderful.